welcome to our first senior chat episode of the class of 2021. Um, I'm really excited to be surrounded here today for, uh, by some great nights. And this year, uh, we're going to be looking to do these senior chats uh, throughout the rest of the year, celebrating our seniors, getting to know them um, as we work through uh, this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So this is one of the ways that we'll be celebrating our seniors uh, as we go on here for the rest of the year. The class of 2021 is a great group of Knights, have done some awesome, uh, great accomplishments for our school and our school community um, over the years. And we're so excited to share uh, this great class to you and to continue to be tuning back in because you'll be seeing a lot more episodes getting to know all of our Knights. So we're gonna kick off our senior chat 2021 with episode number one. And I'm gonna have uh, each senior here introduce themselves and then we'll jump right into our questions. Go ahead, Kaylee. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kaylee and I'm a senior. And my high school has been pretty much filled with doing music and I've dabbled in some sports and just overall making friends. Hello, I'm Greta, and um, I've mostly done art and music throughout high school. Hi, I'm Aspen. Um, I'm in 12th grade, and I, my art, I've been doing art for high school, mostly photography, too. Hi, I'm Alex, and I've mainly done, oh, I'm a senior, and I've mainly done music and art. Hi, I'm Zandria. Um, I'm a senior, and I have dabbled in art and anything like English and writing related. I'm a very literature um, enthused child. <laughs> Awesome. Now let's jump into our let's jump into our first question. And again, thank you guys for uh, for being here today. The first question is to share, uh, you know, with everyone your plans after graduation. Uh, you know, what what's going to be the next chapter of your life? And 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 maybe you're still thinking about what that's going to be. But you know, as of right now, what's your game plan moving forward? Go ahead, Kaylee. Yeah. So I have a pretty unconventional plan, but I think I've finally let my five years of stressing about it <laughs> settle. So I really just want to take a good year off and just learn who I am as a person. And I would really love to, you know, travel if COVID could just kind of, you know, go away. And with traveling, I really want to just gain some experiences. So I would love to get a part of some like volunteering groups and mm -hmm do those things where, you know, they go and build schools for kids and all those sorts of, you know, mission trips and stuff like that. And then I think with one of my experiences, maybe I'll be like, okay, this is like my passion. This is what I want to do. And then once I come back home, that's what, what I'm going to decide to go pursue with college. Awesome. Um, my plan is to go to Word of Life Bible Institute and to hopefully pursue something in ministry, but I'm not sure what yet. Um, my plan is after high school is, well, I haven't really fully decided yet, but I've thought about going to GCC for business, for photography, but I haven't really fully put my heart set on that yet, but if I don't go, I'm probably gonna travel the world like Kaylee does and visit any place that seems best for me. My plan after graduation is going to GCC and then after my two years there, transfer to either Fredonia or Syracuse for my theater degree. Uh, after high school, I plan to attend GCC for at least two years and major in something human services, psychology related, and then hopefully 
throughout my two years there, I'll figure out what I want to do branching off so I can get my bachelor's and all that other good stuff so I can start my own firm, hopefully. Exciting. I'll tell you, I envy you guys with the, so many potentials that, that lay in front of you. Um, now, let's talk about the, the second question is, is, is a tough one, because I, I think there's a lot of potential candidates. I mean, anyone here is a, a big influencer when it comes to our, our staff. But who's really made the most, inf, you know, has made the most influence on you on your journey here, K through 12? Who would be that person that you would uh, that you would, you know, that you want to mentioned here that's really helped you along the way? Yeah, that is definitely a really tough question because I have so many like good amazing teachers who have always just been so like near and dear to my heart and that's going to be a really big struggle leaving high school is also leaving them behind but from fifth grade I my music teacher she is one of the best teachers I've ever had and she's all, every every year, she's always been there for me. She knows me probably just as much as my parents do. <laughs> I've told her probably every secret that even I have. And she's just, you know, this bright spirit. You know, she walks around school and she flaunts these crazy fun, you know, outfits. And she's always got her hair in fun colors. And she's just kind of this light around our school. And she's always trying to make everyone's lives better, no matter what it is. So, Definitely Mrs. McLean. Now, Kaylee, Mrs. McLean has obviously made a huge influence on you. Um, what what has music done for you? You know, like how has that helped you, you know, be the person that you are? I like, I have loved music just because it's one of those things that it, it never stops. It's always a continuance. So knowing her from fifth grade and having her teach me music, I've I've been able to use it as a stress relief. Even, you know, from fifth grade, I've gone through, you know, everyone goes through struggles and um, it's always just been one of those things that's there for me. And also being able to see the progression that I've made, you know, she'll every now and then bring up like a picture or a video of me from, you know, my sixth grade musical when I was a skeleton in Aladdin and I was just this little tiny pipsqueak. And, you know, hearing what I sounded like then versus now and the amount I've been able to like learn like reading music or you know just doing my own instruments at home like right now I'm surrounded by a guitar a piano a couple of ukuleles like all that stuff without her and music I, I would have never even thought to learn that's great um yeah this is a hard question there's so many people who have influenced my life and um but I'm gonna have to go with Mr. Kokitas um, because he always has a smile on his face, greeting us in the morning. Um, and it's hard to be in a bad mood um, in his class. Um, he tries his best to help us with our art and growing in our talent, finding our own style. And not only that, but in life. Um, yeah, he's, he's a great teacher. Greta, can you talk a little bit more about just how, same type of question with Kelly, you know, when, when you talk about the arts and music, you know, what has really inspired you when it comes to the, the artwork that you've created and in the pieces that you've been involved uh, with? Um, I use art as an outlet, I guess, when I'm stressed or frustrated with something, I try to turn that into um, art, uh, I don't know, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Um, the teacher that I would have to say influenced my high school experience is Miss Lawrence. She has helped me through so much um, outside of school and during school. I've taught her several of my secrets or about my family and she has helped me through so much Alex. sorry um a person who has influenced me would have to be miss mclean too because i think 
without her, I wouldn't be pushing myself to go to college for my theater degree or things like anything like that. She's helped me get out of my shell for because music has helped me express how I feel. Yeah, let's talk about just, you know, the next chapter. I mean, we've had some unbelievable talented people graduate from here and go into the theater industry. Um, how, how have some of those maybe alumni, you know, and, you know, have influenced you as well? And, and, and where do you see yourself in five or 10 years? What's your goal? My goal is to be on, well, try to be on Broadway or a stage in general in uh, that field. And I'd say a person who's helped me, who I thought been a, a good person to push me this way is probably, oh, I'm not really sure. There's been a lot of people that's helped me get this far. It's great. Well, you, you've been well taken care of in the music department. And I think you said there's just so many alumni and people that have been a part of, you know, helping people be who they are. And uh, that's one of the best things about the music family. All right, Zandria. So I really genuinely can't just pick one. Um, like the, the main, main three, I can drop it down to the main three has been Mrs. Ronan, um, and then uh, Coquitas and Castro. So I, I don't know, I've been doodling since I could pick up a pencil. And um, with that, I've got so many ideas and so many plans. And for Coquitas and Castro, they have given me, like, I have a hard time taking my ideas and putting it onto paper. So for them, they're kind of like, um, someone to spit ideas off of and they can help me form a solid plan. And then even if it's not art related, like I can come in and we can just talk and have a conversation or um, I'll be complaining that my little brother is annoying and they're like, oh yeah, I can relate. And just being able to have that at school because I don't necessarily um, have that a lot of other places is, is great. And then um, for Ronan, like, She's, she's been there for as long as she's been my counselor. And the fact that I have that connection at school, whereas I probably wouldn't have it anywhere else. Um, it's, it's like the light bulb at the end of the tunnel. And I, it's, it's what has made them, made me be able to get through my high school career so far. Awesome. Now, do you have a, you know, a very talented, you know, person as well? I mean, do you have a, a special a uh, piece that you've created that like is going to stick with you forever that that you've that you've put together and, and what would that be it might be tough to pick one, but um okay. let's see if i can bring my computer because i actually have it hanging up in my room um it's a piece i did last year um about mental awareness and how um i don't know i went through a lot in my younger years and being able to use art as an outlet has like helped me so much. And I really don't know what I would have done if art wasn't a thing. Cause that's like, I spend hours doing it and I wake up and my first thought is, oh, new art project. Like I have a, I have a note section in my phone that's got new ideas and bold red letters. It's, it's always, and that, that one's my favorite because it's a tough topic. It's so controversial. Not a lot of people want to talk about it, but when it's talked about, you know, you can get places. I like that piece because uh, I, that was one of my favorites that I've seen you do. And it, it speaks so much about, the, you know, life and, and the challenges that, that we face. So great choice. Um, okay, last question. Uh, what is your favorite memory or experience, you know, as an Awak Knight? This can go any, you could go K through 12 here. You know, what's something that you'll always remember? And obviously we're hoping to make, you know, more memories here during your senior year. Uh, but, you know, what's, you know, what's been, what's something that you've experienced already that that's going to stick with you? Go ahead, Kaylee. Um, probably Spirit Weeks. Like, it's, I always anticipate them so, like, much and, you know, the, 
days leading up to it, I'm always like at the Goodwill or looking at my phone constantly to see what the days are. And then I go all out for them. And then um, kind of the cherry on top are the pep rallies at the end of the week that we would, you know, on a normal year have. Just watching our whole school to come together and like really seeing everybody just in one place and seeing how much spirit like our, you know, small town school actually has. It's like, it would be the same energy as a bigger school. Like, it's just one of those things that you, nobody isn't looking forward to. Like, you know, our classes are all changed. So everyone's kind of happy about that. And then we get to all just scream, have fun, play games. And I think mostly everybody tries their best to get included into the pep rallies, not just, you know, some schools would sit there and have people talk or whatever. We actually, you know, get involved. And I think, you know, those and, you know, like sports gatherings are always going to be like the things that I remember where everybody just came together and really made the most out of our time together. Awesome. Well said. Um, for me, um, it'd have to be art classes and being in chorus. Um, you know, we have so many different electives at this school, and I think that's great. We can um, find uh, new interests and stuff. Um, like I took photography, pottery, metal design, drawing and painting with Mr. Kokitas, Ms. Castro, Ms. Soto, and they showed me um, that I have a talent that I wasn't aware of, and I'm really grateful for that. Mm. Awesome. Um, I'll have to say Spirit Week, just like Haley. It's just a fun experience to just be able to relieve our stress by having fun with our classmates, our school. It's just a very good experience for kids to release that stress and have fun with their friends. Aspen, do you have a favorite uh, a favorite dress up day over the years that you always liked uh, to participate in? Pajama day, it's just the best one. Lazy, comfortable. Love it. Well, I, you know, I, I I can't agree more. I'm actually wearing a hoodie today to school. Uh, you know, on virtual Wednesday we're recording this. You know, so yeah, being comfortable is really important. It's been cool to see uh, just you know, how over the years, you know, what people wear to school. And I think it's just great to see, you know, people being comfortable in what they wear. You know, I think that's just a real cool part about our school. People who are comfortable to, you know, wear whatever they want each day. And uh, that, yeah, that, that's cool. So yes, that's a good day, but it's also a good day any day. Okay, Alex. Um, my would probably have to be the musicals we put on because they're so interesting and we all we have this usually a giant cast of people that love to do what they're doing on stage and have such a great time because it's basically a giant family there along with marching band too and one of my favorite shows from both of them for musical would have to be oof, Adam's Family that was my seventh grade year musical. And from marching band would have to be uh, Stonehenge. Awesome. Those are, I, I was surprised you're able to pick because, you know, every one of those experiences have been just awesome to watch. But Stonehenge is, is definitely, that was awesome too. All right, Zandria. So I also had a really hard time time choosing what memory or whatever because there's just been so many and I the the favorite memories that I can just you know break down is just the fact that I was able to make the connections that I was able to make the fact that I'm able to remember laughing like six years ago with my group of friends and not a lot of people can say that they've had the same friend group all throughout high school but like being able to to have that connection with the people who I made it with and the fact that I can scroll through my Snapchat memories and find a picture from three years ago homecoming and we're all sitting around in a circle by the bonfire like it's all it's all good happy memories that I can't you know really choose one 
I like that memory because that means there's a lot of them. So that's good. All right, this is the last thing. Real quick, I want to get this in there. Uh, I'm going to keep it on the big view here so we can see each other. But just what would be a quick uh, you know, piece of advice you would give to the underclassmen uh, before we uh, uh, close here today? If you And not everyone has to go, but if you want to, go ahead. Kayla, you can go first. Um, I have two. Um, one, I wish I was able to go back to my seventh grade year and tell myself this, but like, don't be scared of, you know, either upperclassmen or just people there in general. Like I was a super shy kid and that kind of got me out of the realm of making a lot of friends that I probably could have. So I back then kind of forced myself to be friends with, you know, teachers more than anything, just because that was easier for me. But yeah, definitely don't feel pressured or scared. Just be yourself and you'll you'll find the right friend group. And also you know, communicate, communicate with your teachers, communicate with um, your friends. Like if you're ever going through struggles, there's, there's always somebody in the building that can relate and um, know how you're feeling. And it ends up making a lot of connections for when you're older. Awesome. Yeah, I wanna go off of that. Um, somebody told me that uh, after you graduate, you won't see a lot of those people again in the future. So you have to make the most of it in high school, make friends, keep in contact and all that. Thank you, Greta. Um, probably to always come to school, always do your homework, focus um, and try your best. Thanks, Aspen. Um, Oh, this would be a hard, this is a difficult one, but if I was able to probably go back to my seventh grade year, like Kaylee, and tell myself, don't be shy, don't be scared to try new things. It's going to be scary at first, but then you'll, you'll love it at the end of the day after everything you've done with it. We'll have to bottle that up, Alex, and put that in a, in a juice that you can drink when you come through the cafeteria line as a seventh grader, huh? Okay, Zandra. I think the the best piece of advice I can give anyone, just stay true to yourself. Trust your instincts. You know what is best for you. No one but you is inside your head. They, they don't, they can claim to know you like, you know, the back of their hand, but they don't. You know you, you stay true to yourself. Awesome. I don't have to say it because I think anyone that watched this uh, already knows how beautiful each one of these nights are and just what you know accomplishments that you've had and how proud we are of each one of you. And I wish you guys luck as we go through the rest of the journey here in your senior year. Uh, we're excited to be you know celebrating you and continue to do some big things for the class of 2021. It's, it's, a, it's a special year and we're going to make it that for sure, despite whatever curveballs get thrown at us. So Thank you so much for allowing us to kind of, you know, get to know about you a little bit more for our school community that can uh, be checking these out through, you know, all the rest of the year, uh, hopefully weekly. And we really appreciate all of our seniors and, and especially uh, these special five nights that took time today to be a part of our first senior chat. So thank you very much.